Bob, thank you. The postal problems just won't let up. Delivery delays, even people not getting their mail at all, started months ago. And now, for some, it is having far reaching impacts on their lives. New at 11 o'clock, WJZ is live. Amy Kawada spoke with people in Baltimore County who say it is costing them. Amy. Rick, well, from Christmas cards mailed days before the holiday arriving weeks, even months late, to being slapped with fines on bills because checks didn't arrive on time. These are just some of the things people are facing due to the delay in postal service, and they say they've had enough. I've been living in Dundalk for 13 years, and I never had a problem with my mail up until the pandemic. You've got mail. Well, somewhere. Who knows what bills people aren't getting? Frustration among some in Dundalk is growing. I've been trying to get unemployment since November, and I haven't received it yet. As they face another week of delayed mail. It's affecting my shipping business. I got some mail that supposed it came. January and it didn't come until February. Some people tell us they're getting timely mail like bills so late that they're already past due and facing fines. For instance, a red light ticket that was received, there was two of them, and we didn't even get them until after the due date. And even with a notification stating mail is on its way. I haven't been getting all of my mail that it's stating I'm supposed to get those days. With the election and busy holiday season over, many are now wondering what the hold up now. Everything's just so messed up right now. This comes as a group of senators across the country, including Senator Chris Van Hollen, are calling on top postal officials for answers. Wrote a letter in the Maryland delegation, uh, wrote a letter to the Postmaster General, you know, saying, What's going on over there? And how are you spending this money? Because we need to make sure people's mail is delivered on time. In a previous statement from USPS, a spokesperson said the post office has taken steps to address the issues, such as increasing staff and fully utilizing overtime. And WJZ did reach out to USPS for an updated comment, but have not heard back yet. Also, top postal officials are set to testify next week on the Postal Service's financial outlook. Live tonight in Dundalk, I'm Amy Kawada for WJZ.